Well, today I want to talk to you guys about three tips um, when you're hanging doors at the end of a paint project. So we had these doors off here and I'm going to go over how to carry them through the house, um, how to know where they go and then the best tool, the best tool to have when hanging doors. So stick around and don't go anywhere. I don't know if you've tried to carry doors inside of a, uh, into your room before and you probably hit the trim and it leaves a pretty nasty little dent. So what I like to do is I like to grab them by the knob and then I like to bring the top end of the door through the doorway. So when I carry the door and I carry it like this and then I lift the top up, that way the bottom has room to clear and you're not in danger of smacking the door trim or anything. So I'm gonna show you guys. Since my hands are dirty, that's why I leave the doorknobs wrapped so I can grab the doorknob and keep it clean. And then when I grab the door, I use the palm of my hand and just, you know, smack it and hold it. So when I carry it in, I always, always, always put it into the door like this and then I lift it up like this and then I swivel. I come in like this and then you lift it up. Always checking to make sure you don't hit the ceiling or the light. And then you just kind of carry the door upright through the house like this. And then when hanging the doors, what you do, what I like to do, is I put the doors up onto the hinges. Um, I don't unscrew the hinges from the door and the door frame. Um, instead, I pull the pin out. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna show you guys, there's no way I'm gonna be able to hold the phone and show you guys at the same time, but I'm gonna flip it around, show you guys what I'm talking about. So you see, the door will hang up. Basically what's happening is right here, the latch, the plunger is keeping it up. So now you just drop the pin in, right? And it's not gonna drop in right away because you know it's a little bit off. You know, it has to be moved around a little bit. So um, this brings me to my little tool that I want to show you guys. So this is the tool. This little tool right here will save you so much time, so much stress, and such a headache. I love this thing. I use it to set nails. Um, I have another one that's actually a little bit tapered. But if you look at that there, and it's spring loaded. You pull the spring. And this is what I like to use to pop my pins out of my doors and put the pins back. So I'll leave a link in the description below to one of these babies. But man, this is my favorite tool. Otherwise, you gotta kind of keep a hammer with you and hammers are heavy when you're a painter. You don't have like a tool bag, you know? So anything that's small, a small tool you can fit in your pocket is a winner in my book. So I'm gonna show you guys, this is a cool tool. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna show you. Well, that one went in all the way. Okay, and the third tip that I wanna show you guys, one, we showed you how to carry the doors through a doorway. Uh, second, I showed you the awesome tool that I got that I love. And third is how I mark my doors to not lose track of them. So I like to put a little piece of tape on top. So see, I have a little tiny piece of masking tape there with the word bed two written on it. And the way I do my bedrooms is master bedroom is master bedroom. And then you start, you know, closest from the front door and you go clockwise. So I know where this goes because of that. Um, any other time I would do it, I would typically uh, mark the mark underneath the hinges or I'll write on the door underneath the strike plate. And the strike plate is the metal piece where the door latches to. So sometimes I'll, I'll take the strike plate off and, and mark underneath that with pen and then put a little piece of tape on it. That way after I go through and spray everything, I pull that piece of tape off and then there's the number there. So I know what door correlates with what room. So you could literally mark the doors with like shapes. As long as the shapes correlate to the jam that it belongs, then you're good, you can't get them lost. And I know it sounds like every door should just fit where it goes, but trust me, if you guys have been in construction, you know, but if there's a homeowners out there and you guys are doing this, just make sure, save yourself a headache and make sure to mark the doors and the jams. Some way that you'll know at the end of the job where they all go because you'll just save so much time and it'll make you not hate painting. All right guys, I hope these tips helped you guys out and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, hit the subscribe button for me if you know you want it. See you guys.